Welcome to Adventure of the Kramer. So I had a request during live stream tonight. I had some people some live share or was it on just comments. Somebody requested they'll be able to help try and see how Starlink does on a PlayStation 4. I happen to have a PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, like the original editions, and then like the newer modified updated ones. So it has been a long time since I've had these things up and running. And um, I mean they are they're coated in some dust right now. I you can see that on there. There's there's a lot of dust built up, and so I'm needing to charge them right now. Let's get into the video. So as you can tell, it has been a while since I've turned this thing on. Let's see if we can get some connection. So far on the initial piece, I still got to run some updates. Seeing a NAT Type 3, don't know what that means, got to look that up here in a second, I'll let you guys know. But a download of 48.6 and an upload of 2. I'm not sure what this means in terms of time frame, but my system software is only a 7.02. And I just saw in the update, it needs to be an 8.01. So, I've got some downloading to do. So, it's about a half a gig. You can see the speeds right now. They don't seem to be going all in, as quick as it normally does on the PC. So I'm not sure if that's just the network side from PlayStation causing that to go slower. So one thing that I am having happening, um, I'm hoping that it's the PlayStation servers and not that the, like Starlink's restricting like the NAT type or whatever's happening. But I am struggling to run speed tests or even just get it set and actually connect to the PlayStation servers or network. We're gonna keep trying, but let's see how things go. I was finally able to get it to work. Um, I was able to pull a Type 3, 54 megabits down, 2.2 up. Um, I'm gonna run a quick speed test on my phone and let's try and do a quick. It's surprising. Um, Oh yeah, there we go. I mean, I I knew those uploads were not. That's just weird. Why the upload of two point two, when everything else is showing? I mean, this is is an eighteen. Ah, that just doesn't make sense. Why is it getting restricted so much? Okay, so this information that I found by searching up online. Provided by Dinna Geek. Um, was it Vaughn Highfield, Thomas McMullen, and Matthew Bird wrote this back on April 6, 2020, trying to change the NAT type of the PS4. Um, and so I'm NAT type 3, and what I understand on NAT type 3, it is strict. And so strict ends up meaning that, from what I understand, let's see here. NAT type 3 is a very strict connection type that enables additional firewall settings. Um, sweet spot, it's saying, is a type 2. Type 1 is a lot more open. And in order to be able to go from a type 3 to a type 2 to be able to help try and allow more and like hosting multiplayer type stuff, um, I have to be able to access the router. And currently, that is not an option under the better than nothing beta with the router that I have. Like, included router if i were to use my own like older personal router i would i would imagine it would be just fine i would assume the nat type would change up but i do want to sit and try and do a lot of these tests using the included hardware and so that's one issue that i gotta try and work on here but i already know what the actual nat type is so i don't need to sit and try and find it but again good information found from denofgeek.com written by Vaughn, Thomas, and Matthew. So I have, what is it, Fortnite on the PlayStation starting to, it says preparing to download. Um, starting to see a little bit of download usage starting to happen on here. Let's see what it starts switching to uh, whenever it actually says that it's downloading. Um, Oh, that was weird. It just said it was preparing to download at 95%, and then it just dropped back down to 4%. You can see some nice ping. 
signal noise drop down. Latency's picking up there. There's some of the download. It is a 37 gigabyte, 37.7 gigabyte file size. Um, these are some of the slowest speeds I've seen in two weeks for downloads. Uh, odd to see it so low at the 50 megabits per second. That's still very fast. Um, but I'm getting an approximate time of about three hours on the console. I would say every like second or so I'm seeing about, what is that? about eight megabytes can correct eight megabytes not a megabit about every second that's setting and jumping up and increasing on there so see it increase just a little bit there but just give it some time and see how things go from there I mean there's been no outages or anything like that um, I wonder what's causing some of the issues to, to drop down so much see how it goes and oh wow it's already dropped down to an estimated time of just under two hours so it started out an estimated time of about four to five hours and now it's dropped down to two and it's only about a half a gigabyte in of the total 37 that it has to do I guess one of the biggest takeaways that I have from using Starlink on the PlayStation 4 is that downloads don't seem to be being affected at all. It's just kind of slow going right now, so that's why it's a little bit slower on some of the speeds. But uploads are significantly impacted, um, being at least like one-sixth the normal of what I could get on my cell phone or on my desktop computer. And that NAT Type 3 really restricting underneath more firewalls. That's just something that's going on for whatever reason whenever it's connecting up to the PlayStation networks. Just something to try and keep in mind. Um, the 2.5 to 3 megabits per second should still be enough to try and do like a low quality stream. Um, it should still be way more than fast enough to be playing online. Just something to try and keep in mind there. Thanks for watching.